Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Race Course in Granville, Pennsylvania. It's Thursday evening, December the 29th, and this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race four this evening, folks. 7.13 p.m. Eastern Post Time, a six furlong sprint on the dirt track, three year olds and up race for a claiming purse of $16,000. Contenders number five, Penn Up. Number seven, four and three. Number ten, Brass Knuckles. And number two, the Galloping Ghost. Number five, Pen Up, a six to one shot on top, folks. Nice early speed for this sprint is the pace profile leader. Has hit the board in power run fashion each of his last three starts, including a seven length power run win his last time out. Jockey Matt Raspoli and trainer Bruce Kravitz sent him to the post tonight. They've hit the board with 55% of their entry saddles as a team to date, producing a positive 35% profit in the process. Number seven, four and three, the overall speed leader in this field tonight, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has turned in power run performances in three straight, hitting the board in the pair, including a power run win in his third race back. Race four summary, number five, pen up, tops my contenders list, which also includes number seven, four and three, number 10, brass knuckles, and number two, the galloping ghost, 5 7 10 2 in the fourth from Penn National. Bonus long shots Charlestown, race number two, the 4 to 1 shot, number three, Mandarola. Overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at tonight's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in his first asking. Hawthorne race course near Chicago, race four, the 6 to 1 shot, number six, W.W. Olma. The overall speed leader in his claiming field, bringing it six furlongs on the dirt. So from Penn National on a Thursday night, I repeat him for dayatthetrack.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.